Hi everybody, wanted to update you really quickly on what's happening with the weather front for us this afternoon. We will continue to see the rain and thunderstorms that will be increasing uh, for us this afternoon through the early part of Wednesday morning across Middle Tennessee and Southern Kentucky, which is why we are under a Storm 12 alert as all the severe weather threats are going to be in play. While storms will occur this afternoon and this evening, the primary time frame for the strongest to severe storms will be late Tuesday evening into the overnight hours. Therefore, it will be imperative to have many multiple ways to receive those weather informations, especially uh, if you're going to be asleep. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the storm timing here because that's always going to be the important one. So the first batch of rain will enter areas along and west of the Tennessee River uh, between 1 p.m. and 4 p.m. today. And then those storms will be marching east and gradually overspreading the entire area by 6 p.m. to 8 o'clock at night. And as that warm front lifts north, storms will increase after 9 p.m. tonight through the early part of Wednesday morning. Now, the storms are expected to have cleared by the area by 5 a.m. there. So there you're looking now at the storm timing. And now we're going to show you uh, the severe outlook. That's the next thing we're going to talk about. The Storm Prediction Center has all of Middleton Tennessee and Southern Kentucky under the following risk here. So make sure you're paying attention. Marginal risk level one out of five for areas mostly east of I-40 in Tennessee and east of I-65 in the Kentucky area. This will include Putnam County, McMinnville, Macon County, Carthage, Tompkinsville, Winchester, Bowling Green, and also the Jamestown area as well. And then we've got that slight risk level two out of five. And that is the primary threat level for our area here. This will cover locations along the line from Portland to Christiana to Lynchburg, pointing west, including Davidson, Metro Nashville, Waverly, Dover, Paris, Columbia, Camden, Linden, Cadiz, Hopkinsville, Pulaski, Lawrenceburg, Waynesboro, Lobeville, and also Decaturville there. And then we've got an enhanced risk there. That's that level three out of five. Now that will include our far southern counties, and that will include Giles, Lawrence, and Wayne counties. Now let's talk about some of the storm threats and what we're going to be expecting. So the primary threats will be damaging wind gusts and heavy rain. The secondary, but not far off from it, will be some isolated tornadoes that will be possible, especially if you are west of I-65 and south of Interstate 40. Now, there will be some small hail that is possible in some of those storms that we see this afternoon and early evening. Now, regarding the heavy rain risk, this should not cause major flash flooding, but it's possible that we could see some water ponding for a period of time uh, as the storms pass through our area. Now, overall rain totals will continue to stay about one inch. So that's the latest that we have here. Um, and then again, like, like, like I said, that's just the latest timing there. We are going to continue to time everything out for you. Um, there was no problems this morning. We saw lots of sunshine uh, with clouds that will gradually continue to increase as this afternoon. Those storms will focus, will be towards the Texas, Arkansas, and Mississippi through the late morning by early afternoon. Some of those storms will start to enter our far western counties near the Tennessee River there, so we'll need to keep an eye uh, on that. And then these will increase towards our viewing area for us this evening for the commute home in this round one of storms. Based on the weather environment, these should stay below severe criteria, but it is capable of lightning, gusty wind, and some very heavy rain. Now, this will be the trend uh, heading into our early evening hour. So that is the latest uh, that I have for you now. I uh, want to talk about this too really quickly. So round two uh, will feature the strongest storms as the weather dynamics again will peak as the warm front lifts north. And again, this is where the damaging wind gusts will be most likely uh, along with an isolated tornado if possible. So you'll notice um, that the storms are more widespread across the area and will continue to do so overnight. And then those storms will clear from west to east into Wednesday morning before exiting before uh, sunrise out there. Now, that south wind increasing today with gusts reaching 30, 40 miles per hour as the storms move in potentially higher uh, where stronger storms occur. Note that Wednesday morning, the wind changes directions with more gusts because of the colder and drier air that are gonna be entering uh, our region. So be very mindful of that. Our temperatures, like I said, the focus here is that sharp change, that temperature drop. 
uh, within the over the next 24 hour period. So afternoon temperatures will be close to 70 today, but by Wednesday morning, we're gonna drop into the 50s and then we're gonna go into the 40s and then we're gonna stay in the 40s for the uh, afternoon there. So again, uh, just some weather pre web preparations here. Make sure to have, know where you'll go if a, if a tornado warning is issued for your area. Make sure that your phone is charged and also make sure uh, that you uh, have our post notifications turned on, whether you follow us, me on the YouTube channel, the Facebook page, wherever you follow me from, make sure that you have the ways to receive those warnings. Another best way to get weather alerts is also the NOAA weather radio. Uh, alert, turn, alert tones on that device will likely get your attention to the latest weather watch or warning for your county. So again, that is the latest update that I have there. We will continue to fine tune to this forecast and update you hourly with the latest details. Thank you.